You had, a, I believe, a 43-yard touchdown pass last night. Big win over uh, Boca Raton. Uh, just tell me about uh, what happened on that play. I heard you went over top of somebody and grabbed the ball. Um, yeah, so um, it was like, you know, I had to do a bit um, I got on the outside shoulder. And put it back. I went to my work to it up. I went and got it. I broke a tackle right there. NFL draft stage, Glade Central alum Kelvin Benjamin about to make the transition from star football player at FSU to NFL rookie wide receiver with the Carolina Panthers. A big step for this local gridiron hero who has quite the fan base. Kelvin was a first round draft pick for the Carolina Panthers on Thursday night. I was really, really proud to see somebody from Glade Central get picked first round. Who is Buffalo Bills wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin? He was born February 5th, 1991 in Bella Glade, Florida. There, he and his three other siblings was raised by his mom. Kelvin spent time at a juvenile detention center in Okeechobee during his middle school years. He repeated the third and seventh grade and said he landed at Okeechobee for getting into a lot of fights. It wasn't until Greg Dent, his former teammate at Glade Central, that convinced him to try football. In an interview with Palm Beach Post, Dent said, Kelvin wasn't much of a sports person. Me and his brother took him under our wing and told him he should play football. When he came out, he just dominated from there. Kelvin Benjamin decided to change his life around, and he joined the Glade Central football team in his sophomore year. His high school coach was Jesse Hester, who was a wide receiver for the Florida State Seminoles and an 11-year veteran of the NFL. Benjamin had to learn how to run routes, how to get open, and how to read defenses. In his senior year, he transformed into a four-star recruit. He was named to the first team all Palm Beach County by the Sun Sentinel, and he was selected by the Palm Beach Post All-Area First Team. As a senior, he hauled in 30 catches for 551 yards and six touchdowns. Although only playing in eight games, he was deemed ineligible due to his age. Benjamin's season ended in November when he reached the 19-year, nine-month cutoff for high school athletes. He has shown enough to be rated eighth overall best receiver in the country by Rivals.com. He decided to sign with the Florida State Seminoles. After getting into FSU, he reportedly struggled with his weight, adjusting to college life, and with his play on the football field. After being red-shirted in 2011, Benjamin played in all 14 games in 2012, recording 30 receptions for 495 yards and 4 touchdowns. As a sophomore in 2013, he had 54 receptions for 1,011 yards and 15 touchdowns, including the game-winning touchdown against Auburn in the BCS title game with 13 seconds remaining. Sports Illustrated named Benjamin to their All-American first team, and he was also selected for the All-ACC second team by the coaches and and all ACC third team by media. After the season, Benjamin decided to forego his final two years of eligibility to enter the 2014 NFL Draft. He was widely considered one of the top wide receivers in the 2014 NFL Draft. His size, speed, physicality, and high-pointing ability drew comparisons to players like Alshon Jeffries and Plexico Boris. The Carolina Panthers selected Calvin Benjamin with the 28th pick of the first round. After competing for the number one receiver spot on the roster, he won the job, and on June 4, 2014, he signed a four-year deal with the team. His rookie season debut would come against his favorite team growing up, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. His favorite players were Mike Allstock, Warren Sapp, and John Lynch. But that didn't stop him from recording six receptions for 92 yards and a touchdown. He became just the ninth first-round pick to record a receiving touchdown in their debut game. He will win Rookie of the Week and Rookie of the Month for September. He finished the season with 73 receptions, 1,008 yards, and 9 touchdowns. Benjamin will become the 11th rookie receiver in NFL history to record 1,000 yards. In August, Benjamin tore his ACL in a joint practice with the Miami Dolphins ending his 2015 season. The Panthers won 15 games that season, which set a franchise record. They would go on to play the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 50 and lose 24-10. Benjamin returned in 2016 and finished the season with 63 receptions, 941 yards receiving, and 7 touchdowns. It was considered a letdown for the season for him. 
and 2017 season, the Panthers exercised Benjamin fifth-year options and on October 31st, he was traded to the Buffalo Bills for a third and seventh round pick. He suffered a torn meniscus in his right knee and has been dealing with the injury ever since. He plans to get back on track with the new addition of first round draft pick quarterback Josh Allen. Thank you for watching another episode of The Skill and if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you will be notified when I drop another video. See you in the next one. Peace!